Google, Tesla, and Uber have all heavily invested in self-driving cars. Until recently, competition was mainly coming from Europe. But now, Asia is making an aggressive push into driverless technology. Startups, automakers, and tech giants are trying to catch up. First, there's Baidu in China. The Chinese internet search engine just joined the race two years ago and plans to roll autonomous cars out by the end of 2018. Baidu first joined forces with BMW, but that partnership has ended. The Chinese tech giant recently announced it had open-sourced some of its hardware and software, basically sharing its code with car makers who could help Baidu improve route planning, vehicle control, and operating systems for self-driving cars. Baidu, whose market value has trailed rivals Tencent and Alibaba of late, is hoping autonomous cars will help reverse its fortunes. And then there's Singapore. The tiny city-state was the first country in the world to launch a self-driving taxi service, thanks to the government, which gave blessing for a trial. Newtonomy, a Boston-based startup, worked closely with local authorities to first test its technology in Singapore, not in the US. Newtonomy may not have Google's resources, but it's teaming up with several other companies to boost its technology. This problem will be solved through partnership. Uh, this is not just a software problem, it's integration of complex software with a car and then putting it in a network that can reach a customer. It's a huge problem, so not even the Googles, the Ubers of the world are going to be able to tackle this on themselves. Grab, the Southeast Asian version of Uber, is among Newtonomy's major partners. As of May, the startup had 20 vehicles on the road in Singapore. It plans to have more than 30 by the end of the year and has also started testing vehicles in Boston. In Korea, there's Samsung. The world's biggest smartphone maker is now hopping into cars. The tech giant closed its $8 billion acquisition of U.S. automotive manufacturer Harman in March. Harman's skills in auto software development could help Samsung take on a bigger role in driverless technology. Earlier in May, Samsung got regulatory approval to test its self-driving technology in South Korea using a Hyundai-made vehicle. Japanese automaker Nissan made a bold statement five years ago that autonomous cars will be ready for sale by 2020. Now, Nissan hopes it can expand commercial usage of driverless cars in Tokyo in three years with the help of domestic mobile internet company DNA. DNA is also working with startup Robot Taxi that aims to put a self-driving cab service by the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. Most Asian companies are still relatively far from matching their American rivals. Although experts agree that fully autonomous driving technology is still years away, both startups and tech giants in Asia have a shot at catching up.